And that is Bruins coach Jim Montgomery, who is in the final season of his contract. Mm -hmm. And Wiggy expects great results or maybe a new head coach for the Boston Bruins. Well, you guys said what? Eastern Conference Finals, right? You and Sham, I believe. If he doesn't make it to the Eastern Conference Finals. Here's a better question. Do you think he gets an extension? Throughout mid, the year. Mid, mid-season? Mid-season. You think he's the Alex Cora road? I think they probably I, – I think they – that Cam Neely and Don Sweeney look at him and think he's done a pretty good job. I mean, I – you know. All right. I, it's the playoffs that, that he has not uh, achieved what you would hope he would have achieved. He's had uh, the best regular season team in the history of the sport. Right. Um, and so – I think he saved his job. I don't know. Do you think he saved his job last season when they were able to advance? I don't think he was ever getting canned last season. I don't think they were going to can him after two years. You don't think if they were one and done last season, which they almost were, that he would have been gone? No. I think he would have been. Shine, why do you think that they went with Corpusalo last night? If Montgomery's saying beforehand, you know, Swayman's an option, why go with Corpusalo? Well, Sweeney had said all along that they were going to be starting Corpusalo in game one. And right. So I, I just think Montgomery was saying that as, like, gamesmanship. I don't think there was ever any thought that Jeremy Swayman would start last night. He was skating at BU. Yeah, and, but, I mean, he hasn't been with practice. He hasn't been practicing with the team. He hasn't been with the team. He hasn't been training. So, like, I think they're working him up. I'm hoping he'll start tomorrow night at home in the home opener, but, I mean, I, I guess we'll see at this point. Yeah, I mean, you were blaming that entire loss last night on him, and I... I, I the majority of it. With you, Jim, what? The majority of it. Not uh, all of it, but... I, see, I disagree with you. It is... It's... It's... They're back to, when it comes to the, the the defense on this team, to allowing dudes to hang out in front of the net and to uh, get a get a rebound. They're not clearing guys out. It's mm-hmm. the same thing that you've seen for the last couple seasons when it right. comes to those guys. I think that's just the Florida Panthers effect. Like I think you'll see a. I think you will look at. Tomorrow night's game and go, wow, this team looks entirely different. And then because you'll be it's the Canadians. Yeah, it's just gonna be a different game and and the, it won't be the first game of the season. And I, I think the Bruins will look a lot different tomorrow. Well the, night. the concerning thing that I that I'll I I could potentially have, it's not it's not an issue right now because I said it's the first game, but the concerning thing, and he said it and he's been saying it for a couple of years, is we look slow. We started off slow. In this game, they did look slow throughout the whole I game. I expected that, though, because they were going to get a bump from raising the banner. Like, I, you know. Right, but I would think that you would, as the opponent, would want to spoil banner night and would have the be able to match their energy. Oh, hold on a second. When you're talking about raising the banner, I have to do this. <laughs> it's so freaking annoying. And so Florida. And so, so non-original six. If I if I could be a hard O for it's a moment. It's so hokey. It's so awful. I don't. Oh, hey, hey, I don't get the, the rats. Panther, Panthers are eating. Oh, hey. oh God! It's Time awful. for the Panther to eat. Uh, well, I don't get the rats. <laughs> like the Kachuk thing. They're the Florida Panthers. Uh-huh. So the rats thing is for Kachuk? Yeah, Kachuk is known as the Rat King. Okay. All right. Yeah, I, I just didn't get when they throw rats on the ice. I was like, what's that for? Well, New Whalers knows more about hockey than I do. I'm looking what, at the Twitch chat. What do you say? I mean, I played the game. I don't know if New Whalers <laughs> played the game. Did you play the game, New Whalers? I actually enjoy talking about hockey. Between that and the NFL, my two favorite sports. I don't know what to tell you, New Whalers. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean. I like talking puck. Who doesn't? New Whalers, you want to come in one morning and regale us with your intricate knowledge of the game? You're welcome to do so. But aren't we at the point now where it's like, where it, like for the diehard Bruins fans, when is this team going to win another cup? For people that have become Bruins fans for it seems like the past five to seven, eight years, they always have a good team. Isn't the next step similar to how we viewed the Celtics is – when are you gonna win the? When are you gonna win that next cup? When are you gonna show that you are now a team that contend can contend year in and year out yeah. when you have the talent? And I don't know if it was Courtney. Maybe you might have asked this question a while back, or we had this conversation. 
And it, it, I know it was more around Bergeron and, and feeling like, did he underachieve with his career as far as when it comes to winning? Like, when you start to look at this Bruins team for, you know, whatever it is, the past 15 years or what since 2011, do you feel like this team has underachieved with the talent that they have? And are, aren't your expectations like, what is it going to take for them to get back to that point? Great question, Wiggs. <laughs> I think it's hard when you look at the talent as like you have you've had this nucleus uh, the same as, for so long. So right. when are they going to make the jump? And you could say, well, they they used to be constantly in contention, and they've had a drop off since then. Well, if that's the case, then you've got to kind of re restructure the entire thing. Well, well you don't count making the playoffs being in contention in the NHL. Uh, no. Everybody makes the playoffs. No. Yeah, and then it's about all right, making the playoffs versus really looking good and having playoffs. a chance to compete for a championship. Yeah. Right? You even said it. You go, I asked you yesterday. I said, do you think this roster and the team's good enough to contend for a championship? And I, you well you said good enough to make it to the final. Yes. And I said no, I don't think it is. But PK Subban would disagree. He's picking the Bruins to get there. So I don't know. I mean, I, you you definitely, like, when it comes to being physical, which they need on the blue line, you theoretically added that with Zadorov. Like, he should be way more physical. And you they know, will. I have my issue with Carlo. Uh -huh. My issue with Carlo goes back a while. Like, he just is not, he's not as physical as he needs to be. They're not clearing guys out in front of the net. And you know what they continue to do? And even the uh, Zadorov, is that how you say his name? Yes. They continue to be sloppy with the puck, turn the puck over, mm -hmm. like defensemen forwards. And I don't know what that comes from. We'd have to ask Milbury, you know, what that comes from. Is that a, just a lack of focus? Do you want the rat origin story from your guy, TC? Please, I'd love to know where it comes from. Hey, TC. What's up, guys? So the rats, uh, Scott Mellonby back in um, 96, I want to say, because that was the year the uh, Florida went to the finals and got swept by Colorado. They upset my Penguins in Game 7 of the Eastern Conference Finals. But Scott Mellonby killed a rat in the locker room, and that's uh, that's kind of how the rats all started. That started that year uh, oh, okay. back in 96. Killed, like in the locker room, killed a rat. Yeah, yep. Okay. That's that's how that all started. DC, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I didn't know. I because I, I was I was like always panther hunting prey. I was wondering why they throw rats out on the ice when they're the panthers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, all right. We